speaking to Scott Mills and Chris Stark on their BBC Sounds podcast last Saturday, Londo Norris, 22, admitted he doesn't own a car. The presenters were speechless and almost didn't believe him. Calling from Bahrain, Lando was asked what the best thing about being a Formula One driver is and he jokingly replied, the money. The 22-year-old quickly changed his answer and said, no, the travel. The curious presenters then quizzed Lando on his personal finances, asking how often he checks his online bank statements. Lando explained that he does occasionally check his finances but added, I don't own a car. The British-Belgian driver, who competes under the British flag, said he is not a big spender. Lando said, I don't own many things. I've not really treated myself. Chris Stark was astonished. He repeated, you don't own a car? Lando admitted that one of the perks of his job is that McLaren loans him cars, which he drives for free. He added, it's a lovely thing to have. Scott Mills was still getting his head around the idea, saying, that's blown my mind, that you don't have a car. Don't miss, Lando acknowledged, I know. Lando said it could become awkward when the mentioned in conversation. He revealed, people look at me funny when they say, what car have you got? The McLaren star recently criticized Netflix after their popular series Drive to Survive implied there was a rivalry between Lando and his teammate Daniel Ricciardo. He has not been the only one to hit back at the show as a number of big-name Formula One figures have also criticized the show for over-dramatizing certain moments. Current Red Bull world champion Max Verstappen has spoken out against the show too and has refused to contribute to any further interviews in the docuseries. Lando told the press, I watched episodes 1 and 2. I won't spoil it as it's the first proper introduction to Daniel, myself and us at McLaren. I think it's good, gives you good insight. From my side it looks good, maybe not so much from the other side, Richardo's, but there are obviously some comments here and there that may be out of place. When you are the person it's about, you don't agree with it so much because it can make you look like you said something at a time and place which is definitely not correct.